deceived a bunch of people about the I, message of the you gospel. You believe three people is one God. Is that absurd? No, I believe three three consciousnesses exist in one divine essence. Are, 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 so if, if three consciousnesses existed in you, that would be called schizophrenia, right? No, but that, but no. Because I'm not God, so why would you compare that to me? No, no, no. I said, I'm, I said, God is I said completely other. You, I said in you. Would okay, it, then no, if you had three consciousnesses, would you be a schizophrenic? Don't make the analogy no, no, then. I, 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 I'm just asking you a simple question. If God created humans Sir, that way, Matt, it would be perfectly fine. Matt, it would be perfectly normal Matt, if God Matt, created humans Matt, with three consciousnesses. Matt, simple. So if you had three consciousnesses, would you be considered a schizophrenic? Not if God created people that way. I, that's not what I asked you. I'm talking about right now in the world in which God created, if you had three consciousnesses, would you be considered a schizophrenic or somebody with multiple personality disorder? The question is irrelevant. Because, I, because you're comparing a creature to God. Why are you comparing a creature to God? The analogy doesn't work. Am I made in his image? Yeah. So then the analogy works. What are you talking about? But, so now again. But God makes clear that he's uh, that he is very much other than us in scripture. If, if you had three consciousnesses, would you be considered a schizophrenic? Not if God created people that way. But did God create people that way? No. Okay, so, so would you? So, so stop bringing it up. No, it's very simple. So would you? Yes or no? It's a simple question, would I, bro. We can move on. I just need to get uh, to know. I don't know if I'd be considered a schizophrenic. It might just be the way I am, the way God created me. That's, that's different personality. That's, that's called split multiple personality disorder, man. And how, um, that's what that's called. And right? if, if that's and that's the nature of God, that He has three persons. So, so tell me this: Who, oh, is, who, on, is, who is your only master? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it absurd? It is. is. It absurd. Would having three consciousnesses be absurd to a human? Um. It would be because God didn't create us that way. Okay, very simple. So but again, God demonstrates on, no, no. He does so, so have Matt, three consciousnesses. Matt, 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 Read the Matt, Bible. Matt, you gotta calm down, right? Because because you you have to. You're, you're so defensive. So you believe in something that is seemingly absurd, right? <laughs> to you. you? No, fine. Just the way you're calling. I, I'm invalidating your claim of something that I believe in is absurd. You believe in things that are absurd to me the same way I believe in things that are absurd to you. That's well, okay. Use the we, scripture. We have, hold on, hold on. We have use the scripture on, to show it's absurd. Matt, 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 we have subjective opinions. That's fine, right? It's okay for us to have subjective opinions. You calling me something absurd? That's fine. I believe things that you believe are absurd. It doesn't matter. What matters is what scripture says. Scripture says that Jesus is our only master in Jude verse 4. Is Jude the word of God? Yep. Prove it. So, so, prove that Jude is the word of God. Prove that Genesis is the word of God. It's, it says the, God, that God talked to me. And how would that prove that it's the word of God? Well, the, I could write a book right now that says God talked. Okay, that's fine. But that's what I believe, right? Does God, right. Did it say God talked so, in so Jude? You, so you deny that Jude is scripture? Is that what you're saying? I'm asking you to prove that Jude is scripture. Prove that Jude is the word of God. Not scripture. I don't want to use your convoluted terms. Prove that it's the word of God. Uh, of course, the scripture is written down. That's all scripture means. Is it the word of God? Well, That's my question. Prove it. I believe he was a close associate of Peter. And Peter He's is an Jesus apostle. Jesus Christ's brother. <laughs> and you, you, how you don't even know that? He's Jesus' brother. Well, how do you know he's Jesus' brother? Because he says it. Well, how can you trust Jude if it's not the word of God? Can I trust history books? I don't, I don't know. know. Can you? Yeah, I stu I'm, a, I'm a historian. <laughs> of course. So, I, so I study, is so so I study history. So then, tr then trust the book of Jude, and believe that hold the on, that, on, that, on. that that did man say, Jude. Did I say I distrusted the word of Jude? I never said that. I simply asked you to substantiate it's the word of God because you banking on the fact that it says only Master is Jesus right there. That's inadequate to me. Right? Because okay. the Bible tells me I can have many masters and many lords. Right, but, there's but it one says there's only God. one. There's only one master. There's only one. Okay. And Jesus is that okay. only master. Okay, hold on. Does Paul say be obedient to your masters? Let's get give me that, yeah. please. Wait, but I thought it's only one master. Right, because <laughs> let's read because Paul, he's please. talking let's about the Paul, all, there's only one ultimate master. Clearly, by using logic, ultimate. you can no, no, come no. to the conclusion it, that not, when somebody says somebody is your logic. only master, no. that's the ultimate it, it, master. It's, not, it's not, the only it's ultimate not, it's master. Not using logic here, I'm gonna yeah, explain, it is. I'm gonna explain why it's not using logic. Because if I use logic, the Bible contradicts itself. 
in those instances. No, it doesn't. No, you're trying to make the Bible, to make these, these epistles, because that's what they are, letters, not contradict each other. So that's where your logic is allegedly stemming from. The it, average person who picks up the book does not have to have the same logic as you. Let's read. It's the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 5. Uh -huh. It says, servants, be obedient to them that are your masters. Wait, say what? <laughs> that are your masters. Are your what? Masters. Uh -huh. Are your who? Huh? <laughs> masters. Are your masters. So wait, I thought I only had one master. You do. I thought I, There's wait, only... wait, wait, but, but Paul told me to be obedient to my master. Who's right, Paul or Jew? There's a, there's a certain way to interpret passages in which say only cer a certain thing when there's clearly according to who? more. According to who? According to people who use logic. Who? So, who so in ja so in James... Can you name me those people? Any... I don't have to name them. No, you do. You keep, you keep asking you for don't. names, but you, 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 I don't have to give you names. Here, but Matthew, here's why you do. Because we're having an exchange of information here, right? And you can't just say stuff, right? Like everything that I'm saying, I'm at least going somewhere to substantiate it. I just you, took you to Jude. You're literally telling me, I, just took I you mean, to hey, people with lo who are these logical people that I can look to that you can demonstrate are using the same methodology that you are? Can you give me anybody outside of yourself, Matt? So when James says that, Matt, that, that God... God is our only, did, Matt, our only Matt, judge. Did, did, hold on, did, our hold only on. judge. Did, did James say? Did James say that God doesn't tempt people? Uh, yeah. Does Genesis say God tempted Abraham? <laughs> this is my point. What, of, what part of Genesis? What? This is give me the verse. Point, give me the verse of Genesis. Give me that word where Abraham was tempted. This is my point about the epistles. To be an absolutist about the epistles and treat them as if they are the unadulterated word of God is totally illogical because, again, James told me God don't tempt people, but I read in the law of God where God is speaking and it says God tempted somebody, right? Go ahead. Yeah, this is the book of Genesis, 